camera companies have traditionally not had great ecosystems. They've been a little clunky, a little cumbersome to use, but there's been one company that has stood out to me that I really want to talk about in this video when it comes to ecosystems. So let's jump right in and get right to the video. What's up guys, it's Project Photography from another video and today people today. Ecosystems have been all the rave in the tech world with Apple having the king of ecosystems. They have products like the iPhone, the iWatch, the AirPods, the iMac and so on that all have a seamless user experience. And we have seen companies like Google, you know, they have been trying to create their own ecosystem with the Google Pixel phone series. They have Google Pixel Buds now. The Pixel Watch is going to be coming out soon and the tablet will be coming in the future. But ecosystems have been a little bit clunky in the camera world. And we've seen, you know, different mounts work with, you know, different lenses, but certain lenses not working with other sorts of sensors and so on. It's just been a whole mess because we just, you know, not, nothing really works extremely seamlessly together. And there's no single camera company where we can say, yeah, that camera company has all their products working seamlessly. And that's a problem for us because when it comes to picking out an ecosystem, when it comes to, you know, buying a camera and a lens, when you're starting out, you know, you look to the ecosystem and think, okay, what is this going to fulfill my need as a photographer? And it's really hard to say that camera companies have done a good job at that. But there's been one camera company that I think has been the exception to it, and they don't even make cameras, and it is Pete Design. They don't make cameras, but they make camera accessories like the everyday backpack, the travel line, even a tripod. They've done a great job at making these different products work seamlessly with one another. And this is a company I really want to talk about in this video when we come to ecosystems in the camera world. We're talking about products that are designed so well to be you know, sleek and fashionable, organized gear efficiently, and they are very comfortable to wear and use. They meet all these consumer needs because they've done a great job at designing an ecosystem that meets photographers needs as a whole. What makes P Design a great ecosystem? There are three things that I've kind of thought of, and one of them is seamless compatibility, which is how well do the products operate together within the ecosystem? The next one is a similar operation devices, you know, how the devices operate similarly, making it easy to jump from product to product. And the last one is how do devices enhance other devices usability? So how do products are used together are greater than the sum of their products. So let's dive in and talk about each of these individual components of what makes Pete Design a great ecosystem that it is. So the first one is seamless compatibility. I think this is a pretty easy one. You know, how well do the products operate together within the ecosystem? When I reference this, I'm mainly talking about the foundational products that Peak Design has. So this includes the you know, red disc as well as the mounting plates. Those are the two main examples that I want to talk about. For the red disc, I'm sure you all know, it works really well with the actual camera straps, the cuffs, the wrist anchors, and so on. And they're really easy to install on any camera pretty much. You just put them through a the little loop and now you have a red disc on your camera. But what does that red disc do? It's not just simply having a red disc on your camera just for the heck of having a red disc. It allows you and unlocks a whole potential and slew of different products that you can be using within the Peak Design ecosystem, like the camera strap and so on. And it's really easy to use. It's you know very seamless. You don't have to really do much to it. You just clip it on, you clip it off, and so on. And it's really fun and easy to use. And it actually helps you do a few different things when you're actually using the camera. This is the best camera strap I've ever used. I don't really like using camera shots, but if I had, if I were using a camera shot, this is the best one that I've ever used. And I think that's something that P Design has done a great job on. They've taken you know, photography gear that's traditionally been a little bit clunky, kind of like I said earlier, and made it a much better design and much more user friendly for the photographer. Now let's talk about the mounting plate because the mounting plate is actually very important as well as a foundational piece. What this does is it's used on things like the capture clip, the tripod and so on. And it is essentially an Arcosus plate that is really sleek, really minimal, and works very well with their products. It's very low profile, and you don't feel like you're carrying this huge plate on your camera like a lot of Arcosus plates traditionally are. And when we're talking about seamless compatibility, we're talking about these different foundational pieces, how they work really easy and are meant to be worked with and used on these different types of pieces of gear from Peak Design. I really love using them, and they've honestly made the experience of using it really seamless and easy. Jumping from one product to another, like for example, if I'm going from the capture coat to the tripod, it is absolutely extremely easy to use. And that's really what makes the seamless compatibility of this part so easy to identify. But now let's jump into similar operation devices, which is the second point that I brought up. Now what this states again is how devices operate similarly, making it easy to jump from product to product. Now, when we talk about similar operation devices, I mainly want to reference the everyday bags as well as the travel bags. 
And these bags operate all in a similar fashion, especially the uh, individual lines, the everyday bag and the travel bag, they operate in a very similar fashion. And this is incredibly useful for the actual photographer because when you're actually picking out a camera bag, you're not picking out based off of the individual you know, needs and what it fulfills as a photographer, but you're picking out based off personal preference and form factor and so on, because not everyone has similar, you know, wants when it comes to form factors. Some may want a tote bag, some may want an everyday traditional backpack, some may want a messenger bag. So when you're choosing out the actual form factor, you're not skipping out on any of the products and the needs that it fulfills as a photographer. They all fulfill similar needs. It's up to personal preference. There's no sort of trade-off that's happening and it's great for consumers. I don't have to feel like I gotta choose form factor over product usability. They all have both and you can choose a form factor that works for you. So let's talk about the everyday backpacks and they all operate in sort of a similar fashion. They all have a sort of side axis feel to them. They all utilize a full dividing system. They all are able to carry laptops and sleeves and so on. And they all have a pouch for your keys to attach the keys into the anchor point and make it really easy to use and operate as a bag. They all operate in a similar fashion and they're used for everyday purposes. Like you have the, I, my personal bag that I use is a P Design Everyday Bag 20 liter version two. Absolutely fantastic. It is a staple in my photography kit and has been for about four years now. So I absolutely love that bag. So now let's jump into the actual travel bags. And I think this is a really important and probably the best example of a similar operation devices because all travel bags utilize the cube system. So, you know, you have your different types of cubes like the packing cube, your camera cube, you have a wash pouch, you have your shoe bag and so on. You have these different types of cubes that fulfill different needs. So you can customize and organize your bag however way you want to fulfill the needs that you want. For example, if I want to carry more clothes, I can just add another packing cube. If I want to fulfill my photographer needs, have more camera gear, you're also able to do that with the actual camera cubes. I think it's really important. And when you're picking out your bags, you're not necessarily picking them out based off of you know how they operate because they all operate the exact same way, but you're picking them out based off of you know, the size that you want, because not all, you know, traveling people are going to be using the same size bags. Some way want the smaller bags for different purposes and so on. And having the similar operation devices makes it really easy to go from one bag to another and creates a seamless experience when you're jumping from those bags. And maybe you want to go out one day and, you know, look like you want to carry a tote bag. You're totally able to do that. And you don't have to feel like you have to adjust really heavily to a different bag in the same ecosystem. It all works really seamlessly. Now let's talk about the last point that I really want to dive in and it's how devices enhance other devices usability. So what this essentially states is that products used together are greater than the sum of their parts. And an example I really want to dive into is how Apple's iPhone and the iWatch are the best example of this. For example, the iWatch does not necessarily work with other phones because it's not meant to work with other phones. But what it does, it enhances the iPhone experience. You're able to utilize your phone in a way that would be different if you did not have an iWatch. And I think that's what's really important when talking about this feature. And I think this is something that P-Design could actually work on a little bit better. But the best example that I can think of is the capture clip on the everyday bag. So what the everyday bag is meant to do is carry your camera gear in a seamless, easy way, easy access and so on. And the capture clip exemplifies that and makes it even easier to carry it because what it essentially does is takes away the need for a camera strap you able to just put your camera on the actual capture clip have it really easy right there accessible and so on and i think that enhances the overall use and is greater than the sum of their parts when it comes to the actual camera bag because now you don't just have to have your camera in your bag you can have it on you at all times and make it really easy to actually go out and shoot but like i said earlier this is an area that p design can definitely improve on because the only real you know, example I can really think of when it came to this was the capture clip. So this is something that PSI I can improve on, but I know for a fact that they probably will. And there's another point that I really want to touch on when it comes to ecosystems that P Design does not just create these all inclusive ecosystems like the travel bag series, like the mounting points and so on, and like the everyday series. They actually have little mini ecosystems in their actual line, like the travel tripod. Now, majority of camera manufacturers would traditionally just create a tripod by itself. It's just a tripod, you would think, right? But P-Design has done a really good job in creating an entire ecosystem for this one tripod. They've created ball head adapters that let you change out the ball heads that you want to be using. They've created an ultralight conversion kit that allows you to change out the legs and have a really small, light, compact tripod. They've even added a phone mount into the tripod, which makes it super easy to be on the go, take photos at your leisure with your phone. 
it's absolutely incredible what they've done with the tripod and it's one reason why I really love the Peak Design tripod over pretty much any other tripod. Now, why does all this matter? Why does it matter for consumers? Why does it matter for companies? Well, it matters for consumers because when you're considering your needs as a consumer, as a photographer, you don't wanna just pick out products to fit your individual needs. If you can fit those needs with an entire ecosystem, that would be absolutely better because not only do they complement each other, but also works together seamlessly and it enhances your overall experience much better. But it's also great for the company because now it makes it very easy to sell products, but it also makes it much harder for consumers to switch brands. You're able to keep them locked into that brand and make it easier when a new product drops for people to consider it because it's in the ecosystem. But now let's jump into the conclusion and let's talk about you know why I wanna even make this video in the first place. I really wanna make it because Companies should not just strive to make great products, but rather create an entire experience. It's not enough to just make a great product. And any company can just make a great product, but not every company can make a cohesive, great experience. You know, that's something that camera companies really need to learn because I don't think they've traditionally done a great job of that. They focus all their energy into these individual products, these individual cameras, these individual lenses, but fail to think about what it means for the entire ecosystem. Because you can make a great camera, you can make a great lens, but if it does not work well and does not operate well within the actual ecosystem, can you really call it a great product? I would argue that you can't. And as a camera company, you can make a great ecosystem if you meet the needs of photographers, if you create experience that people love and enjoy and not just create camera gear or camera lenses just because you wanna make something great. Anyways guys, that is it for this video. Let me know what you think about this format. I really like making these opt-in pieces, giving you guys a slice of what I think about the photography world and camera gear in general. There's a lot of different ideas that I have. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section down below. Anyways guys, rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for experiencing the world with me today and I will catch you guys in the next one.